I definitely cannot touch my face right now. No, no way. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So after getting way too many messages, yes, today, I'm tackling the coronavirus. And I'm getting the C word out of the way early because I heard YouTube is demonetizing all coronavirus related videos, so let's go. But I'm gonna try and take a positive spin on this and educate you on all the things the CDC is telling you to do to prevent yourself from getting the coronavirus. So today we're building the all-in-one pandemic prevention belt that will have all of the accessories needed so that you do not get the coronavirus. So before we jump into the build of this invention, let's go take a look at what those prevention methods are. Let's go. Because this has been all over the news the past few weeks, I'm sure you might be a little familiar with these prevention measures, but let's take a look. The very first measure is to wash your hands regularly. So on the prevention belt, we need some sort of hand washing station so you stay squeaky clean at all times. And the next one is do not touch your face. So I think we need some sort of hand restricting device so that our hands just will not be able to reach our face and we won't spread any more germs up here. We'll keep them down here and be a-okay. The third prevention measure is to avoid close contact with other human beings. So, no shaking hands. We need some sort of faux hand that we can reach out to shake people's hand and not come in direct contact with them. And lastly, sneeze into the elbow of your arm. You know, I don't wanna get my clothes all messy and germed up, so I think we need a fake elbow that we'll be able to sneeze into and get all the germs over there, away from us. So those are the four prevention measures. There's actually a larger reason why I'm also trying to educate everyone, but I'll tell you that on the way to the fabric store. Let's go do that. So one of the ulterior motives I have for educating everyone on the prevention methods for this virus is that I have a cruise in 10 days. So some of you might know that I turned 30 just over a month ago, and I've had this trip planned for quite a while. This is my 30th birthday trip. I'm going to the Caribbean, you know, some nice warm sunshine away from this Vermont winter. So I really hope something doesn't happen the next few days that cancels the whole trip. So hopefully everything is good and I get to go on vacation. But I've been trying to think of a cruise travel related invention. So go comment down below if you have some sort of idea of something that I should maybe build to bring on the cruise. But we have arrived, so let's go find our materials. I've got the loot, so let's see what we got. What do we have in our goodie bag? So the first thing we have is this red webbing fabric, and this is what's going to be the base of the belt itself. Wraps around our waist. We're also gonna use it for our wristbands that attach to the spandex cords that I'm gonna build. Beautiful. On top of there, to let you know that we mean business, I found this sort of caution tape 3M reflective fabric. So all of the accessories that I 3D print will attach to that fabric, and then we'll attach it all to the red webbing. It'll be looking good. Of course, no project is complete without a little super glue. Also, I'm gonna try and sew this plastic fabric into little bags that's going to be our hand washing station. I'm hoping that it works out well, but time will tell. So, I think that's all we need to get started on this project. I'm gonna run to my computer and start 3D designing all of the accessories that are going to go on our pandemic prevention belt, and then we'll be well on our way to saving the world. Off to design land. So I have what will hopefully be all of the accessories we need for the pandemic prevention belt designed, and here they are. I don't think I'm gonna go through each part individually right now. We're gonna hit the 3D printer over there, and then as we're building things, you'll sort of see all the parts come together. So off to the 3D printer. So while that still has a few more hours to go in the 3D printer, I knew that I would be using a few accessories from a few past inventions and repurpose them into this one so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel and make a whole bunch of things that I already might have 
on the wall of unnecessary. So let's go check it out. So here we have everyone's favorite wall of unnecessary inventions. And the one we need is right here. This is the Easy Reader. So the Easy Reader invention, hey Mark. So the Easy Reader invention is, here I'll, I'll put up the official product photos. It makes it so much easier to read, having those hands right there that will hold the book for you. So we're gonna reuse the silicone hands from that invention for the hand shaker and the sneezer. That way I don't have to make brand new molds of my hands and we can reuse those and they'll be looking good. Now let's go find the other part that I wanted to use. There should be an exercise band somewhere in here. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut up this guy and it is what is going to attach to the utility band itself, then to your wrists so you only can go so far and not touch your face. The parts still have a little bit longer to go so we're gonna wait for those to finish up and then we can start building the utility belt and save the world. That's it, that's all we gotta do. Save the entire world from a global pandemic. Let's hope it works. And just like that, we have all of the parts finished up, so let's start building this pandemic prevention utility belt. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is cut up the bungee cord and attach them to their holsters. So here is a closer look at the bungee cord holster. Basically, each end will just super glue right into there and we'll be good to go. But we do need to figure out what is gonna be the optimal length from our waist to our wrist. I think shorter is better. We'll go about this long. And then double that up and get these super glued in. It is a nice fit. Get all the super glue up in there pretty well. All right, these guys should be pretty good, but we gotta let them dry for a little bit longer. We should move on to, what should we move on to? Let's go work on the elbow, on the dabbing elbow. Let's go sneeze into that. So what I'm gonna do with the elbow, you know, it's shaped like an elbow, is I'm gonna hot glue a bunch of filling on here and then, I was going through my closet and I found this shirt and it was a size small and I thought, who am I kidding myself? I don't fit into a size small. So to make it look even better, we're gonna put the elbow into the shirt and then the cuff will cover the end and then the silicone handle will be coming out of there. So it'll kind of look a little bit more like a regular elbow and give it that illusion that we're sneezing into a regular human elbow. So let's get five minute crafty and bust out the hot glue gun. So now I'm just gonna go around and slowly put some of this filling on to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're sneezing into it. So what are we thinking about this cruise that I'm going on? Am I absolutely insane for still going on it? Or do you think I'm gonna be completely fine? To me, I feel like there's over 300 cruise ships that go out on a daily basis or on a weekly basis and that You've only heard of like three or four in the US that have had an issue, so I think I'm okay. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and finish this guy up. Oh, wait, I actually have to sneeze. Achoo! Oh, no. Good thing I have my sneezing elbow all finished and looking good. Look at that. We have a nice elbow, and here are the grips that I 3D printed earlier. So you can grab it, sneeze right into there, you're good to go. Also, I have the handshaking hand. Similar handle, you reach out and you don't have to shake the person's hand. Two perfect utility devices, ready to go so you don't spread any more germs. This project is moving along very nicely. Next thing we need to do is make our plastic bags. I'm not sure if this is really gonna work. Let us cue to a little sewing montage of trying to put these things together in five, four, three, two, one. And now that we're all sewed up, let's see if this thing will actually hold some water. Fill it up a little bit. I don't think we're leaking. I think we're good. All right, so I'm gonna get a whole bunch more of this put together and I'll see you in just a little bit. We'll have a little bit more of utility belt. Okay, are you ready to see this in action? 
I definitely cannot touch my face right now. No, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. So we have the wrist guards now attached to the spandex bands on both sides here, yep. We've got a large buckle here right in the middle. We've got our two hand washing stations ready to go. Here are the holsters that will hold the hand shaker and then on this side we will have the sneezer. Just a few details left and the pandemic prevention utility belt will be ready for prime time. Who is ready to see this in all of its glory? I present to you the pandemic prevention utility belt. <laughs> Enjoy! This is the pandemic prevention belt. Stop spreading germs today. The included spandex wristbands will ensure your hands will never be able to reach your face. Keep those disgusting hands as far away as possible. No, face, touching. The right side holster features a distance for hand shaker. Avoid all skin to skin contact immediately and only shake hands from a comfortable distance away. Sorry to all my best bras. Next located on your left side buttocks is a secondary fake arm and sleeve. Never sneeze into your hands and only into your elbow to minimize any possible nasal spray outward. Lastly and most important are dual hand washing station. I'm not sure why I have to remind you to wash your hands but just do it. Let's hear it. Can we get a round of applause for this invention? We now have absolutely no reason to spread the virus if you're wearing this amazing invention. It has absolutely everything you need to stay safe if you're going to go out into the world or on a cruise like I may or may not be. The next few days we will certainly see. And the official rating I'm gonna have to give this invention is 10 do not touch your faces out of 10. As always, be sure to go check out Instagram for the official product photos. If you want to see if I get quarantined on a cruise ship, be sure to uh, go subscribe down below. Give me a big thumbs up while you're there. And with that, I think that's all I have for you today. Stay safe, follow those guidelines, and let's get through this, people. Spreading the coronavirus is very unnecessary. I have to go pack for my cruise. So I'll see you at the next invention. See ya!